Hello everyone and welcome back to Survival of Youth. So just to quickly recap the last episode, we kind of set up our camp around about down this area over here. We've got some cartography trees explored and we're going to aim for these two over here. We're going to get these two cartography trees done. So I'm all pretty much stocked up on food. As you can see down here in the bottom left, we've got plenty of food. Um, energy is running a little bit though. But I think we've got enough to make it through at this day and hopefully we can get these two trees we can get access to them and kind of get everything all mapped out now what we do need we've got two of these lanas so we do need to craft two ropes um not the belts we need two of the ropes to be able to access the trees so we've got two of these to craft and there we go we've got them two done so we're going to head over to this tree over here and then we're going to head over to that one over there and hopefully we're going to get more of this island all mapped out and explored so we're going to make quick progress over to this one and hopefully it looks like we're not going to find much in between um just some more resources and that but we shall see what we can find looks like we've got another beach over here with some more leaves so we do need to harvest some more of these wide leaves which seem to be very difficult to find oh what have we got over here uh, yeah, these are narrow leaves, so we're not too worried about the narrow leaves for the moment. But there is over here. Reach location near the bay pass. Interesting, okay. So what have we got over here? Ah, oh, we found Columbus's spyglass. We've also got some wooden hammer over here. Builder's toolkits. Ah, oh, we just hit the jackpot over here. Caramel seeds. And survival tasks. Build a house, make a water collector, make a spear. I'll start with these tasks and then we'll see how things go. Ponce Leon. Okay. Uh, what have we got in here? Ship box. Weight used. Um, obsidian saw. Wow. We'll definitely take that. That's got to be very rare. New task is obsidian. So have we just found our new little starting location? Um, is this going to be where we're going to continue? I think we should do Ponce de Leon proud and we can continue his little build here. So I think we should now call this a home. So we definitely kind of want to explore that tree there so we can kind of map out this area. And yeah, I think we should make this place home. I mean, it's already been started, so it wouldn't hurt to continue. So let's go ahead. Let's get this tree mapped out. We've got some leaves over here as well, which for me must be a sign. I mean, we have got some wide leaves over here. I'm pretty sure this must be a sign to continue our build over here. So let's go ahead. Let's harvest some of these leaves. No for harvest. So craft, leaf hat, leaf cape, leaf skirt, sandals. Yeah. Okay. So let's get this tree done and we'll head back over to here. And I think we should, um, yeah, start building our base pretty much around about there. Okay. So here we are on top of the tree. Um, this one over here is the one that we originally done. Um, not originally, originally, but the first one we come across, which was over here. So we still need to explore this one. And that should pretty much explore the whole area. Because um, we have done this one over there. So yeah, that should unlock the whole mapping of this whole area. And I think we should do Ponce de Leon Proud and continue our base over there. But first of all, let's get this lot mapped out. So let's start mapping. Current altitude 125. And that has unlocked a lot of resources. Um, special objects. Oh, we've got a special object. Conicles over here. Living water. Ah, okay. So yeah, let's see whereabouts this special object is then. Um, probably, possibly in this cave somewhere. Yeah, I think we should go ahead. We'll get that tree mapped out. And then I think we should come back and do some base building, I think. Um, we'll definitely try and try out this builder's toolkit. Um, get our stuff, get our little base sort of set up and everything else. I think that's quite a nice area to do it in. So what have we found over here? Looks like we've got an old little ruin again over here. Book of St. Albans. Added Book of St. Albans, Ancient Art. What have we got in here? Some snake potion. Uh, we've already got some snake potion, but that's pretty good. Oh, obsidian shard. Oh, yes. Find an obsidian shard. Just unlocked an achievement. Um, but nonetheless, we need to head in this direction, I'm pretty sure, to um, find the other tree. And we've just fell from a massive high, and we are now sick. We've just took a massive bit of damage from that. Something I really didn't mean to do. And um, we're now getting 
chased by a long haired dog. We've successfully survived that one. We have minor cuts, so I think we should be alright though. We should be pretty good. Try not to um do ourselves any more damage. Kinda have to remember the way back to where we come from um but we are pretty close to this tree now so we shouldn't be too bad don't want to get caught out by this bird so i think we'll go this way round. oh my god this is not good okay we messed up big time there we've um dropped our spear uh let's just recuperate recuperate here just wait for it to charge at us we are good and there we go oh my god let's get her axe out get her axe quick oh that was close we are not doing well at all animal tendons jackal fangs yeah we'll just we'll collect all of that because i think it's all going to be pretty handy to use we need to somehow um replenish our health because we are not doing well at all um resources stone uh where's the stone cart gone there we go okay oh that put me on edge then that really did um let's go ahead and grab those kind of lost where i am now we were looking for the cartographer's tree that was over in this direction it wasn't it it was round here okay we definitely need some sort of bandage uh all times of wounds minor cuts uh we need some narrow leaves is what we need should be able to find some narrow leaves down here somewhere um hopefully we can find one pretty quickly grab ourselves a bandage just recuperate a little bit and then we can go ahead and start heading over in that direction um narrow leaves okay grab those i think we've got a storm brewing as well which is not good um oh we need a campfire for this as well this really isn't going well is it um campfire okay well we're short on sticks perfect okay do we risk it and just go for it or do we not um because we are in pretty bad shape i think we need to head back over to here we need to gather some small sticks we need to find the right tree there are some trees over there actually they've got small sticks and um, we'll just head over here grab some and then we should be able to set up our small this is not good oh, i've lost the spear no i've got the spear good um one hit from this thing and we are not doing well so we need to time this pretty perfectly and we missed okay we blocked it yeah we've got it okay um where did our spear go oh no oh no we've lost our spear um where did the spear go really is not good oh where is it there it is oh thank for that we found it okay where were we going over here to grab some small sticks it's pretty tough around here i'm not gonna lie we haven't really been doing ourselves any favors around here oh now we're over encumbered and there's another one there as well what can we get rid of quickly we get rid of those uh we need to get rid of the crab um okay so let's go ahead and see if we can get this in one hit oh he missed again at least we know where our spear is come on if you're gonna attack attack just want to get this over and done with come and attack me come on oh no they're long sticks they're not the sticks i wanted oh this is not good really is not good they're gonna attack disease is worse than oh no hold a blocking hit press to block okay oh no we've that's it we have fainted use living water restore health okay where have we ended oh no we have ended up all the way back here at base camp okay so i'm going to make my way all the way back to where we just come from um i've also lost all my items as well which really is not good um yeah I want to make my way back to where we were and then we will go from there just got to try and remember exactly where we were so i think we were pretty much around about here so there's the talk of a tree um ah there we go dropped bag so that's where we kind of need to head to okay so i'm going to make my way back there and i will see you guys in a bit so we have found it our drop bag is here so we're going to go ahead and take all of it and we are done and now we're just got to figure out what we can drop so we're not over encumbered anymore let's see what does this do ignite it that's definitely something to bear in mind we've got an obsidian shard here got some jackal fangs hmm i don't know what can we drop to give ourselves some more weight um let's see decisions decisions we kind of need it all though that's the problem kind of need all of it oh no we're being attacked um i know our spears over here somewhere as well isn't it i remember i need to try and 
get rid of this long haired dog. Um, or oh, I need to make some space for something. Um, let's put our wooden spear over here. What can we drop? I don't really know what to drop. Fish bones? We'll drop the fish bones. Don't think we're gonna need them anytime soon. Obsidian saw we could probably do with. Don't think it's attacking us just yet. So I think we should be okay. Do we need the stone axe? Probably not, because we've got the iron axe. Oh my god, we are not doing well. Come on then. Oh, we survived that one. We can kind of uh, breathe a little bit, I guess. Let's eat some of these. Give ourselves some water. We can probably drop one of these, couldn't we? Yeah, we'll drop one of those. We should be good now. I need to find this spear. Hopefully our spear is still here. I've got a feeling our spear has probably... No, it's there. Perfect. Perfect. Our stone spear is still here. Okay, so we can drop this one. Um, I can probably drop the bones. We can also drop the wooden spear and put the stone spear over here. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, where were we aiming for? We have already done that one, so it wasn't that one we were aiming for. We were looking for that tree over there, I believe, was the cartography tree we were going towards. Um, and then we've got our little base that we're going to build down there. So that's the question. What do we kind of start doing first? Do we build up a base? Um, I think we should. So sage flowers have been studied. I think we should just um, try and make our way to the base, get a nice little base built, and then we can kind of go from there. We need some food that I can just eat very quickly. Let's go ahead and drop one of those for now yeah we'll just drop an egg that's fine okay let's go ahead let's get back over here we'll build a little base try and potentially kind of build some walls around here um maybe a little roof and then we can set up sort of like a little camp down here sort of thing so let's go ahead let's see what this builder's toolkit was all about um this one here so Resource of building house can be produced on a carpentry. Okay, so wooden hammer. So let's go ahead and head into crafting. See what we can do over here. Okay, so we've got walls with windows, walls with doors. Um, we probably want one of those. Equip a hammer tool in active weapon slot to be able to build this. Okay, so we are going to need quite a few of these by the looks of it. So we need them on the carpentry workbench. So interaction... Learn a blueprint, study the resources. Okay, so we've got a wall here. I don't think it's really going to be necessary. I don't think I've got the necessary resources to build much at the moment. But let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get the carpentry workbench. I think that's something we're going to need to do because we're going to need to build quite a few of these, um, which takes common log, which, yeah, I, I don't think we've got the resources for building yet just yeah so i think what we're going to do is we're going to basically see if we can go ahead and sort out a bed and a campfire and that we're going to set up base here i think is going to be the best thing to do um we've got a coconut rainwater collector which i think is definitely going to be something we could utilize but as we are over encumbered i think what we're going to be doing is we are going to get a large box made of sticks we're going to do that and we're going to place this up here just so we can get rid of a whole load of our resources because we're very over encumbered don't really want to be over encumbered it's kind of the worst thing we can do um we have got some obsidian though obsidian shard so let's see what kind of tools we can create with this obsidian um we've got an obsidian axe which we could potentially get done but i'm not really sure can be crafted from obsidian crafting resource okay so how do we go ahead and do that so carpentry workbench tanner chemistry workbench vice camp it enables the production of leather copper and iron items um log cart cart tanner workbench improved trap simple medicines for tanning animal hides um enables us to cut logs in half um allows crafting okay let's see how we can get so obsidian axe blade there we go regular workbench okay and we need a bit of obsidian for that and we need a knife blade here um so do we get an obsidian axe blade or do we get an obsidian spear is a very good question i think we should go for the obsidian axe blade so let's go ahead and get ourselves some sticks and also we need some as well uh we haven't got enough for the lana rope so yeah we're going to need to go ahead and 
do some resource hunting. We've got a special object here, but it's a spyglass, so we'll definitely grab that. Um, we need to find where we can find these ropes. Ah, Liana, over there. Okay, so we need to go ahead and grab some of that. So let's just dump a whole load of stuff into here for now. Um, we have got a wooden hammer over here, which we don't want. Um, we can pop that over here. We'll put our axe back in here iron axe uh, stone spear we can possibly repair no we can't because we need some stones okay so i think we should go ahead pop all of this into here and then i'm going to go ahead and gather some resources so we can get to crafting and building some stuff okay so i've set up a little temporary shelter i've managed to get all my stats up um we have I gathered quite a few resources so we're pretty good um i think the next step is i want to craft basically one of these the portable toolbox um we're also going to craft some of these clothes as long as we've got enough of the leaf resources they're pretty easy to get if happen anyway so i want to craft this portable box because it adds 10 units of carrying weight so we're going to go ahead and craft one of those um we're going to do the leaf hat as well um the leaf cape we're just going to go through as many of these as we can and then we're going to grab the spyglass and see what the spyglass is all about so we need one of those we need a regular workbench which we've got over here um we do need some more leaves as well so we're just going to go ahead and grab some more leaves um let's grab some of those and i think that should be enough for everything we need so let's go ahead over here to the regular workbench and we are going to craft one of these belts um yep 57 minutes on that okay so perfect and then last but least i think was the sandals was it not uh we'll craft some of those okay let's go ahead so we've got the belt here um weapon sets plus one so that equals another weapon that we can have here which is pretty good um so we could craft a bow i think and possibly some arrows as well that might be the good way to go and i think we should be um pretty good to go so how do we equip this uh, bag so that's 22 units of carrying weight this is 10 units of carrying weight okay so can we repair this we need a piece of leather and tendon thread no so current durability so okay let's see yeah maybe we should get rid of that for now um we'll place that back into the storage okay so let's go ahead and remove this into our storage over there i'm not really sure that's actually helping much because our durability is pretty low so maybe it is worth getting the portable storage back out here let's see what it does it's 36 yeah we'll, we'll keep it like that for now um, a little bit of messing around we should be good um, we want to craft a few of these ripe coconuts to keep us going and then i think what we can do is we'll head over here uh, we'll definitely craft one of those and then we also want to craft the bow as well mm, yeah so we'll craft the bow um so we've got a bow in our inventory so that's pretty good we've got bandolier there so crafting we need to go ahead and grab some arrows let's go have a look and see what arrows we've got so we can do stone arrows we can do wooden arrows um we could even do obsidian arrows but i think that'll be a waste of the obsidian we've got um so let's have a look and see what else we've got um low durability for wooden arrows base durability five one damage per shot um these do is four damage per shot so let's see how many of these stone arrows we can get um we can only do one apparently so that gives us three arrows so i think we need to head out and grab some stone um so we've got stone over here so yeah let's head up i think there's just some stone just on this cliff edge or where this rock is sorry so we'll grab some more stone if we can and um, depends if it's all been depleted or not and then we'll grab ourselves some stone arrows and then we'll grab the spyglass and we'll go ahead from there so resources are being restored in nine days mm, okay where is some more stone i don't want to go too far um but let's go ahead we can always pick some stone up if we need to on the way okay so that's fine we can go ahead and we can grab the spyglass and then go from there so craft two opened green coconuts we still haven't done a tutorial i don't think um we've got some coconuts here so we'll go ahead and do that um let's just go ahead um yeah we haven't actually done the tutorial yet so we'll go ahead and get that done uh we'll go ahead and do that there we go and we need to do 
two green coconuts so we'll go ahead and get them crafted there we go tutorial complete we can follow the story and explore on our own okay so we are all set to go so find the spyglass near the harbor which is this one right here so view from the mountain get to the mountain okay looks like we've got some exploring to do then we need to um get to the mountain there's been a passage up in the mountain somehow the natives were able to reach very high points there so we need to potentially head up into these mountains quite possibly um not sure exactly where the path of the mountain is going to be but we're going to go ahead and find it um chronicles living water over here massive stone massive stone not exactly sure where the viewpoint's going to be we're just going to go ahead and explore i assume it's going to be up there somewhere but let's um see if we can find some sort of passage up into the mountains there must be a route from here ah there we go I think I've found the passage to the mountains we need to head for. So let's go ahead. Let's follow this through. I think we're getting hunted by a bird, quite possibly. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's head up this way, see what we can find. We need to watch out for these, um, for these nettles. They can sometimes cause a bit of damage. Um, so we probably don't want to go that way. We probably want to head up this way, quite possibly. Oh, what was that? That was a snake. Definitely don't want to be poisoned again. Seems like we are poisoned yet again. So not to worry. We will um we'll manage somewhere along the line. Let's see if we can get through all of these. Okay, so we'll cut these down because they seem to do a bit of damage when you walk through them. Just like that. That's not to worry. Okay, um, what have we got over here? Oh no. That was not good. Oh no, we've got a scorpion on us. Go away. This really is not going well. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Okay. And relax. Okay, we'll take these because um, they're good for food. So we'll definitely grab those. I think this caramel was good as well. So we'll grab some of that. Um, and I guess we just need to head up in this direction. So yeah, we haven't been doing very well so far. I oh, definitely, I wanted one of them massive stones. So we'll grab that massive stone. I know it weighs us down a little bit, but it's definitely worth having one of them. Um, all big branches, we're definitely after them as well. I do want these scorpions because the scorpions will give us access to the medicine that we need to cure our poison. So yeah, we'll definitely be grabbing these scorpions along the way. Um, how much, yeah, we haven't got enough weight for another massive stone. Should have dropped some of this stuff off at our little storage yard, but uh, nonetheless we are here Let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of you you're gonna come this way ah uh, stay still go on stay still can't see you now you're hiding behind this rock oh my god oh no grab the spear i don't know where my spear has gone that was i'm just doing absolutely terrible at this defending myself i definitely do apologize for that uh, okay so we made it this far we've got to continue up that way by the looks of it we've got dragon fruit here um i think that's about all we have over here so yeah let's go ahead let's push forwards we're not doing great but we're not doing terrible either Okay, let's make our way up this mountain. We need to find the white sign, apparently. So we'll just grab this dragon fruit. Oh, there's another snake here. We'll definitely get rid of that. Snakes are pretty easy to get rid of when you can actually find them. There is another one rattling around somewhere. I can hear it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. There we go. Found it. Okay, perfect. So do we need to go this way? Or do we need to go um, continue up this way? Quite possibly um oh there is some more stones here so that's very handy to know do we need to go this way what uh, no we can't go down this way oh that just gives us big stones okay that's very handy to know um we could possibly go this way no i'm not sure it's the right way to go um let's see what's around here we might be able to grab something from around here there is some more dragon fruit over here so that's pretty good i don't think we're gonna find anything that we could utilize around here let's see if we can get rid of this long-haired dog perfect but we're gonna have a, another bad encounter then it's okay we managed to survive okay i'm very confused as to where to actually go now could possibly go that way but i'm not exactly sure that's the right way to go yeah let's head back 
to the way we come from i'm not entirely convinced this is the right way to go can't remember if i actually got this far um or not in the last time i visited this game i kind of have an inkling that i did but i'm not entirely sure so do we want to go to that one or that one i think we should head up this way this way looks very intriguing to say the least um not in sure well okay maybe we were going the right way last time maybe let's head up this way see if we can go this way don't know there was quite a clear path to start with and now the clear path seems to have deteriorated a little bit so i'm not entirely sure if we are actually going the right way or not we might be going a direction we're not actually supposed to be going but you know we'll venture this way anyway see what we can find yeah this definitely looks a bit bit dodgy this does i'm pretty sure the other way was probably supposed to be the way we were supposed to be going unless we're supposed to be going up that way mm. okay let's head on back down this way then maybe that way is the better way to go i'm pretty sure we come from this direction though from down there but yeah I'm very confused as to what the best way to go is. Let's continue over this way. I saw a little path over here. So although it comes up this way, it does also go up that way as well. So maybe that's the best place to go. We'll head up over in this direction. We'll see what way this goes. Definitely a little bit overweight. We are moving up quite a bit slow. Let's go ahead and eat some of these coconuts. Oh, we're getting attacked by a bird. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, let's get ready for it. Let's get ready for it. Let's get ready for it. Oh, I thought it was coming then. Didn't throw it, I just stabbed it. I was meant to throw the spear. Yes. We got one down. Where's my spear? Oh, no. We're not going to be able to get that one. Oh, this is very tough. Okay. Wait for the attack. And we fire. Yes. Throw in level three as well. Oh, that reminds me actually. Let's have a look at our skill points. So we've got three survival points. Okay. So concentration. Um, what have we got over here? Resist to re reduce the risk of getting a disease. Reduce the risk of getting indigestion. Eating water and container foods give 5% water bonus. Nutritious food gives 5 bonus. Increase energy recovery while sleeping. Gain 10% earned skill points bonus. And alchemy as well. So I think our water bonus is probably going to be a good one to learn hunger control i think is definitely going to be a good one and i think learning as well probably going to be good so we'll do those reward gained make flint oh okay so we do the survival task and we get the uh, survival points to spend what have we got here oh so this just explains what our skills are and what bonuses we get so throwing um increased damage by throwing by 10 percent. that's pretty good i like that okay so let's continue on um up the mountain we need to definitely make some more room uh we are definitely getting a bit over encumbered over here oh dragon fruit we can eat the dragon fruit let's go for it okay uh we're still over encumbered a little bit but let's continue on um sure we'll get rid of some of our resources as and when i definitely think this is possibly the best way to go as well path leads pretty much straight up here okay we've got another dog we've got rid of you yeah um what way do we go though do we go this way i think we should just follow the path um i'm pretty sure there's probably something down that way but i want to follow the path along um it is getting dark we'll probably have to camp out on top ready for sunlight okay so we are here we've kind of reached the top but it's not quite what i was expecting i'm not really sure where this white sign is but we have got some bamboo sticks we'll definitely grab these bamboo sticks uh we're over encumbered though that's the downside to it um i could really do with keeping this massive stone because i think we're going to need it mm, this is where it gets tough you see definitely need to get rid of some of these resources could possibly get rid of the wooden hammer they're not really too difficult to um kind of craft and we don't really need one as of yet so i think we'll drop that the small stones are easy enough to get hold of um so we can kind of drop those as well so let's go ahead and see what's over here we've got some kind of glowing over here uh what have we got oh piece of clay okay i'm not sure what they are for but we'll harvest them um unlock some more blueprints we should harvest the clay as well because that'll give us some blueprints as well so not really sure what the blueprints of the clay actually give us so let's have a look and see what we have over here ah charcoal pile pile device for coal production um what else have we got over here that we can craft so bamboo flask okay lightweight for carrying liquids um and bricks and stuff like that okay so we know where we can find clay but what i'm looking for is this 
white sign that we need to find uh, i guess and we need to go to the very top by the looks of it so we're going to carry on up this direction see if we can find the top of this mountain i think we could have gone either way to be honest um even up to the top of there as well but we'll just continue on we'll see where we can find the top of this so we can use the spyglass i hope i'm going in the right direction still because i'm not entirely sure i am but like i said we'll continue and we'll see if we can find the white sign okay so here we are back at base and i've just realized that i actually think i forgot to record the part where we got to the top of the mountain i'm not entirely sure um but just in case i did uh, basically what we saw at the top of the mountain is we opened up our spyglass um we had a look out towards the seas and basically over in this direction of the map that we can't really see at the moment is a lonely rock and apparently that's where we need to go next so we need to land on the rock which is our next task so it looks like we need to um, build ourselves a raft basically um so let's go ahead and see what resources we need to go ahead and build ourselves a raft we could possibly do the improve um which has also got a container for storage and also a bed but we do need a common log so let's see if we can go ahead and we'll place this down here so it's ready and then what we can do is we can place the resources we need so we need some long sticks some narrow leaves so we'll do those first because uh, we can get them pretty easily long sticks over there narrow leaves over here um we can get plenty full of those so we might as well get those done first and then we just need to figure out a bit of carpentry i think to get hold of the logs so i'm going to go ahead and grab those um long sticks are over here so we can those as well when they're done and then we just need to figure out some carpentry we're still in 20 days okay so we to took those we might be a little bit low on sticks okay we need another we need to repair our stone axe um well, we haven't got any stones on us brilliant let's see what we can do can we craft a wooden axe no a stone axe is the best we can do and we need a small stone from somewhere hopefully we can find one lying around here um well we found a massive stone oh actually hold on let's see if we can go and do stone axe blade we need a massive stone and a small stone so if we grab this one if we can go ahead and find a small stone we can do an upgraded axe i think is going to be the way to go so hopefully let's have a look around this beach area and hopefully we can find just a small stone lying around i just need one and there we go we found one right here on top of this rock that would do very nicely let's go ahead and craft our stone axe blade and then i've got to try and figure out how we go ahead and do the improved stone axe there we go we have the improved stone axe now so even more durability and hopefully yeah we should be good to go for a while now so let's go ahead um stone axe improved stone axe okay so that means we could probably drop um we'll swap those out and we can drop this one we don't need that one anymore um we'll grab some more um sticks definitely over encumbered now um what can we get rid of can't really get rid of anything to be honest we kind of need it all we kind of yeah i think we should just let's see what can we get rid of at the moment we could probably drop a few of these leaves what else can we get rid of we could eat some dragon fruit i think that would bring our health our hunger up as well so that's pretty good Right, let's head back. We'll drop this stuff off at the raft and then we just need to delve into the realms of carpentry, which we're probably going to need to build a carpentry bench. We have got an obsidian store that we managed to find, so that's pretty good. And I think we should be good to go. We can just head off over to the rock. Okay, so let's drop off these resources. We've done that. that. Um, crafting. So we need a carpentry bench of yeah carpentry workbench okay so we need some rope um we need a common okay we just need common logs for the carpentry bench so that means we don't hmm. interesting okay so let's go down to resources and we'll go on to half log hollow log short handle um big branch half log no we just need to find common log requirements okay let's head over to the regular workbench and see what this says um no we've got obsidian store saw here um which we already have i 
Okay, let's see what happens if we go on to here. So we can harvest those. Um, what happens if we just chop it down? Ah, oh, there we go. Cut down. Common log. That makes sense. Okay. Um, can't take more than one, so we can just put one down. That makes sense, actually. So we can press G to cut them down. And there we go. Okay, so add items there. We'll grab the other log, and then I think it'll be time to sleep. It's getting late, I assume. But we need to get rid of this log before we can open any menus, which is kind of weird but there we go okay so we should be able to do this in 10 hours so yeah completely exhausted critical is critical low so there we go build a wrestle off we go so let's just ignite this very quickly um just keep us warm while we sleep and then we might be able to cook ourselves up some food i think we should cook ourselves up some food get that up full um there we go do we need to possibly add some more your onto here um tools food fire there we go um we'll add some more fuel so there we go and crafting we'll get some more of these up that looks pretty good okay so we will eat that just there um we will go ahead and eat some of the best we are full there uh, medicines we want to process venom we want a couple of those and now we can sleep and we'll get a nice big bonus. So let's go ahead and sleep all the way until the morning. Nice big long 21 hour sleep. That seems good. Let's check our rain collector for some water. Uh, we've got a fair bit in there so we can drink that. And then I think we should just head over to the left hand side. Um, and we should be able to find the lonely rock or whatever over in that direction. So let's go ahead. We're going to sail away can we sail away to this little rock island of hope local map rock island no so i think we just need to manually take a trip over there okay so let's make sure we can get in the water a little bit properly okay let's head out then so there it is over in the distance so that is the lonely rock that we are aiming for which is the one we saw on the spyglass so we're going to tingle our way over there and hopefully we we'll find something interesting while we're there well what have we found on this little miniature island over here we we'll definitely stopped off to check this out might have some goodies in this little this little box let's make a little pit stop just here let's see what we have over here um we've got an item in there a red apple interesting might as well eat that while we're here I'm not sure why I've still got that book in my inventory, but I'll have just in case we ever want to stop by and have a little bit of a read, I guess. Uh, is it worth checking out this little island over here with some trees? I think it is. I think we'll head over there as well. Okay, so I've made it to this little island here, which I thought we'd take a nice little pit stop. There might be some new and interesting items over here. And um, we've got a little crab. Apart from that, it doesn't look like there's a lot here, actually, to be honest. I'll definitely take this coconut. Rocks over here. Ooh, what have we found? Maybe we will find something interesting portable beacon blueprint interesting okay so we can find blueprints on these little islands so it's definitely worth trying to explore these as and when we can definitely worth doing um can we harvest the bones from this poor guy um no it doesn't look like we can we will continue over to the lonely rock then okay so we have completed the goal and now it says get inside i can see a little smoke signal up there so it looks like it's some sort of i guess cave because it said get inside so we're gonna head over here i can see like a little um log or something that's going up that direction i'm not exactly sure where the best place to beach is but we'll find it okay so we have made it here we are so i guess we've got to try and work our way um up here quite possibly try and find our way inside this big rock um let's see not sure what the best way to go is i'm not sure we've come the right side of the rock to be honest i guess we'll soon find out let's get our spear out we're ready for a battle okay so it looks like we're making our way inside um yeah over here was probably a better place to beach to be honest looks like we've got some scrap over here Let's see what's in these old box put in shoulders um, okay so we can put these boxes on shoulders um what have we got over here old barrel oh what have we got here get inside past um canon of medicine by ibichella so if we read these books it looks like we unlock efficient effects and they do take a long time to read though but I'm not sure if it's worth reading them. I mean, we could read them. That will pass some time. Yeah, let's go ahead and read them. We're gonna... Oh, okay. So, we've got darkness. Um, we're very low on food and water. So, 
maybe that wasn't such a good idea um, we need to get rid of that rotten food um let's go ahead and craft some more coconuts i guess um got some ripe coconuts here as well we'll craft those i'm not sure we've got any of these we've got some dried dates yeah i think that's all we can do for food um we have got some dragon fruit so we might as well eat the dragon fruit it is kind of dark so i think we'll just carry on through we'll read the books probably another time that wasn't the um the best idea i don't think um oh we still have got the torch actually so let's put the torch on we'll try and ignite this fail to ignite that time and fail to ignite that time perfect okay grab our spear back out um pineapple seeds okay definitely gonna have to start growing the garden at some point definitely getting some good array of seeds though so that's good we'll just make our way up to the top of this little cave we haven't come across anything as of yet i'm pretty sure that's all going to change once we get to the top and here we are reaching the top so okay we've got some birds over here we definitely need to be careful of we're gonna get hunted okay let's stay here let's fight the birds let's make sure we know what one's coming for us oh no there goes the spear oh that's not good we'll just have to stand and fight with a torch we've got no other option here uh we're just gonna have to stand and fight patience is where it's gonna be key here who's coming i can't believe we lost our stone spear as well oh come on this is not good we're taking serious damage here oh that's one down one down two more to go come on time it perfectly one more to go okay we can do this. Are you going to come for us? Are you going to risk it? Come on, you know you want to. Just want to finish this one last bird off. Oh, we've got one more hit. Yes, that's it. And go. We are good. Okay, that's the birds. Done and dusted. Oh. This is the cannoneer from the crashed Santa Maria. Left without a boat on this rock, he was dying of hunger. Up on top, he found a nest and tried to grab some eggs, but the cannoneer underestimated the danger of these birds. The harpies. They are very dangerous. And the harpies pecked him to death. Maybe somebody else survived on Santa Maria. I should go to the crash site. I think we should delve into the crash site. Let's see what we have here. Improved ship repair kit. Perfect. And have you got any other goodies on you? How about that knife you had? No? Wow, that's not good. So pick up the note. Um, What note might that be? Okay, let's see. There are many traces of people staying inside this rock. Here is the body of our crew members and a note. We should see what it says. I wanted to know I could find a survivor up there. Oh, so we kind of skipped a bit somehow. Um, apparently I was supposed to pick up a note inside this rock that I, I didn't pick up. Go ahead and see if we can find this note that apparently I was supposed to pick up inside this cave. I didn't see one. Did anyone else see one? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't. But then, ah, I mean that one down there? That one there that's kind of flashing around that I completely missed? No, that's a piece of a native map interesting completely missed that as well apparently oh you mean that note there on that box that i can now see that i must have completely missed beforehand you mean this one yep so i'm a cannoneer on the exp expedition led by a one Le ponce de leon in 1513 so their lifeboat crashed against the underwater reefs near this rock and we have to swim here when we reached the cave pedro slipped on the wet rocks and broke his leg we were found out of spies and starving I will now leave a Pedro in the cave down below and we will go up. Maybe I can catch one of those birds circling around up there or at least find their eggs. Mm. Okay, sail to the buffalo region. So, looks like we have unlocked another new region then. So, start the motor process to find resources. Find altitude. Oh, so we can map anywhere. Let's go ahead and map to here. Oh, so it didn't really give us much information so at all so we need to try and find our way back to where we come from then where did we kind of come from because i can't remember how we got into here oh yes we come through this little 
weird enclosure here okay and there's our boat just over there that was close i completely messed up there can we get back up we can huh we had a lucky escape there that was not good at all um i'm not really sure how i get back onto this onto this vlog i think i'm kind of a bit stuck here i'm gonna have to swim aren't i and it's not gonna go very well for me i can assure you of that we're gonna have to take a gamble we're gonna have to try and swim because i can't get back on that rock so bombs away we're just gonna have to try and swim for it We've got as much stamina as possible and we're just gonna have to just we're gonna risk it we've got no choice but to risk it we should be okay i think we can get up here yeah phew okay that was lucky so we now need to sail back to where we come from so let's go ahead and head back to base and i think on that happy note we are going to end the episode there so as we sail us off into the night back to our base i'd like to thank you all for watching hopefully you are enjoying the series of fountain of youth i'm definitely excited to get even more into this game we've got a lot to explore so it's been Kryptonite here, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.